cyber attacks don't always result from sophisticated hacking methods. Something as simple and routine as opening an email attachment can give cyber criminals an entry point to infiltrate a network or computer. Wow. I mean, I've seen people under-promise and over-deliver, but this is impressive. What am I looking at? Dear client, please find attached latest invoice as requested. They must have finished way ahead of schedule if they're already requesting payment. Hmm. The invoice is just labeled as attachment one. That's not how they typically label them, you know, for tracking purposes. Maybe he was just in a hurry. And there's something a little off about this email address. What's that extra character? He probably just sent it from his phone. I'll just have a quick look before I forward it on to Ben. Without intending to, Frené may have just allowed a cyber attacker into her organization by opening the suspicious attachment. It's just that simple. A mistake by one employee can expose the entire system. Hackers are experts at exploiting vulnerabilities in IT systems and in human behavior. In fact, without realizing it, you may have developed certain online habits that could put your organization's security at risk. One of these habits is clicking links in emails, websites, and pop-up windows without extreme care. Let's say you receive a message in your personal email account that looks like it's from your bank. Without thinking, you click a link asking you to confirm your contact information. But when you click it, you're redirected to a cyber criminal site that's designed to look just like your bank's login page. If you enter your login credentials here, you've given the attacker an open invitation into your accounts. This type of attack is known as phishing, and it can just as easily happen in the work setting. We'll talk more about phishing and discuss other scams, often referred to as social engineering, a little later on in the course. Another risky behavior is downloading unauthorized software and applications. This can open critical security holes, which attackers can exploit. Next, let's talk about passwords. A weak password, one that can easily be guessed or that incorporates common words, gets attackers an entry point into an otherwise secure system. For convenience, it's tempting to use a simple password and to use the same one for multiple systems. But you should always follow your organization's requirements for creating unique, complex passwords, and a different one for every login, for maximum security. Another major risk is using unsecure devices and networks. Removable hardware, such as USB drives, for instance, can be easily misplaced, allowing any unencrypted information to fall into the wrong hands. Unsecured Wi-Fi connections are particularly risky as well. Always connect to a secure, password-protected Wi-Fi network and use your company's virtual private network, or VPN, when connecting remotely. Review and follow your company's policies for remote access. I, um, I think I might have messed up. Okay, what's going on? Well, I was working from my doctor's office yesterday afternoon while I was waiting for an appointment. Rob called, asking about those financials we promised him. I forgot to send them out before I left the office in the morning. Don't tell me you're still not done with that. No, but it slipped my mind. The thing is, the VPN was doing that thing where it keeps kicking me off over and over, so I just closed it. And you were using the doctor's office Wi-Fi? Yeah, but it should be secure, right? You have to know the password. Did you at least encrypt the files before you emailed it? I'm afraid not. You need to talk to IT. Now. Then, there's the temptation to disable the security features of your PC or mobile device, like antivirus software or firewalls, or, in Christie's case, the VPN. While this might speed up your computer or let you gain access to blocked web pages, it also increases vulnerability. Security breaches can happen offline, too. Not paying attention to physical security can result in stolen equipment or printed documents and unauthorized access to data. Physical security considerations include controlling access to your premises, supervising visitors, and properly disposing of trash that contains sensitive information. 
without active participation by end users and maintaining IT security, it's all too easy for a simple mistake to turn into a big problem. So, if you have even the slightest reason to suspect an actual or attempted security breach, you must report it immediately. The IT department has the expertise to investigate the situation. The longer a vulnerability is left exposed, the more catastrophic the threat can become. <laughs>